Yes, guys, good evening to all. This evening again, I will do another video of the Warren's area once again. First of all, this is Eden Lodge, Lodge Terrace. Here, this is where we leave the Battle Cave Hill and Lodge Terrace. And this will be able to lead you back to Warren's. And this will be able to lead you back to Eden Lodge, which is a housing unit. And it is also a ghetto area. Eden Lodge is a kind of a ghetto area. So. We'll do my walk to Warren's. Starting from Lodge Terrace. This is a residential community. This is where the war is. And this be about to eat a large and large terrace as well. And this is where to do Warren's area where pretty smart. This will lead back to Warren's business area. Here are large terrace and large, I mean, via the, super, via, via the, um, the business area. The Warren's business area with Kentucky and the Boabab Towers and back to KFL as well. University of the West Indies. So I will go out this way for now. And this is the walkway where I just came through from. Building here that was built by Al Barak, which is a government office where you get your ID card for your picture for your ID card taken, and the unemployment bureau and so on is in there. Yes, I will not be walking through Price Mart yard. Straight ahead, we take about a green hill, but you have a large terrace, large hill, but it's Mana Lodge complex where the BIM factory used to be that used to manufacture the BIM drinks. And this is Price Mart here. And you want to take you back to the unemployment bureau and so on. And the government offices and so on. Oh, wow, so quite smart, yeah. This is quite smart here in Barbados. And the EKS bottle return depot is right here. So this is pretty smart yard. Yeah.
So this is our price mark. Our price mark in Barbados is located in the Warren's area. That's good. All price mark yard here. All pretty smart here in Barbados. Pretty smart. This is a new and improved pretty smart. All pretty smart car park. And this is the entrance to pretty smart here. That's the back up first mark. All the Warrens business and commercial area here in Barbados, which is known as a city. Away from the city, it's a place where businesses are moving out of town into the area. Now we're leaving for a smart yard now. Over to the other side of Warrens. Uh, this is the side of the massive dorm hall. This is the dorm on it. Where Burger King is. And the pathway back down to Price Mark. Or Burger King. So this is the busy Warrens area here in Barbados. Or somewhere around there. And this is the bear by the price mark again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bear by the price mark and back to the Warren's business area. Let him go because he came down there. Ah, I don't want any accidents. So I told him to go ahead. This is the massive dome mall over here where the which was originally built for Galaxy Motors, which was the agents from Mitsubishi, which is in Barbados, after the closure of Fort Royal Garage in town in 1999. It was built here. They moved out here and it later became Galaxy Motors and then afterwards BS and T changed it over to half of Warren's Motors and then the cost of Manning appliance store was in here 
Then in 2014, Massey bought over all the BS and PV stands for Barbados shipping and trading companies and then changed it into Massey. So this is now the Massey dome here. And this is the Massey supermarket here. The Massey supermarket, which was originally Supercenter supermarket, which was also owned by BSNT, Barbados Shipping and Trading. Oh, Massey store. Massey supermarket, where Supercenter used to be. Some Massey. And this is the government offices here, government buildings, where the unemployment bureau is, and you can get your ID card and so on. So, here's the Gold Warrens with a plantation area, an agricultural area back in the day. And now, Warrens is a place where businesses are moving out of town into the area. All the massive car park. The Warren was an uh, area filled with sugar cane, and all behind here where this Warren's business center is, but it's not always here. Like this. The government offices again, which was built by Mr. Albarat, a Trinidadian national. He built it for the government. I had to sue the government, the past government, for the building because they were they wasn't paying him for it. He had to take them to court for it. This is the CGI towers here, which has Scotia Bank in it. This is the new Republic Bank in Warrens. All in massive, sto massive car park, massive stores. And this is Republic Bank. This is the Scotia Bank in the CGI Towers. Yeah, yeah. That's the CGI is this course of bank. Public bank in Warrens. Warren's area started to develop sometime around the late 90s into the early 2000s. Then lots of businesses started moving out of town into the area. Kentucky and Warren's over here. And this is the, the western side of the Boabab Towers here as well. Which will lead back to the University of the West Indies. At KFA campus, the western end of the Boabab Towers over here. Western end of the Boabab Towers and the Republic Bank here. The government offices and the CGI towers. CGI is an insurance company. It stands for Consumer Guarantee Insurance. 
So I went to transfer into an agricultural area for Lonely Road. I know it's too late. So I'm, I'm on Cane Ground to a business and commercial hub. Where businesses are moving out of town into the area. CGI Towers. Chaffet restaurant. Chaffet. Chaffet is something similar to that of Kentucky, but it's not only the one in Barbella. And Chaffet restaurant is a fast food restaurant as well. Chaffet moved to Warren in 1996. It was officially opened on the 12th of December 1996. And this is the Saw gas station here, which was originally, which was the Saw gas station here, which was once Shell gas station. This was originally Shell gas station. And Shell moved to Warren on the in 1991 as well that was before warren started to develop into a business and commercial hub like what it is now yeah yeah that's good this is show saul warren Saw gas station and you can see the Boabab Towers in the background. The western end of the Boabab Towers. And this is our Chaffet restaurant. And this is the St. Sam Waters roundabout. This is, this is no change to H.K. St. Sam Waters name change to H.K. No. And this is the roundabout here, the Darcy Scott roundabout, which is sponsored by H.K. St. Sam Waters originally moved, St. Sam Waters was originally in Bridgetown, down by the Globe, out by Harmony Hall just about up on the outskirts of Bridgetown and then in 1988 St. Sam Waters moved to this location which it still is today St. Sam Waters St. Sam Waters was originally the agents for Suzuki vehicles St. Sam Waters also specializes in Isuzu, Chevrolet they now specialize in Mitsubishi and Subaru vehicles but their main agent is Suzuki Some waters here and the stall head office, which is the, agent, which is the headquarters for all the stall gas stations in Barbados, is over here. And this is all Chaffet Warrens. And this is all now the ABC Highway. Warrens is also a part of the ABC Highway. So this is a part of the ABC Highway and the Wanamap Highway. The Wanamap Highway runs up here. I'll be right here when you get back to the car of Thailand. Oh, yeah, called Village. And this is called the ABC Highway. The ABC Highway which starts from the Adams Airport and will end at University of the West Indies at TFA Campus. And this is our Chaffet here. Our Chaffet Warrens. Mega player going outside. You see the CGI tower in the background and the Chaffet restaurant, which has the barbecue barn attached to it.
So this is the ABC Highway here. The ABC Highway was the plan of Barbados' second Prime Minister, Tom Adams, who wanted the highway to be built so that motorists can have easy access to the airport and industrial estates across the island. So Tom Adams built the highway to get to the airport, which was named after his father. But sadly, Tom Adams did not live to see the highway completed. Tom Adams died in 1985, and the highway was completed by 1989. So this is all the massive stores here. It's the Lucky Horseshoe restaurant. Lucky Horseshoe is a 24-hour restaurant, and it's a saloon and state house as well. Massive super center supermarket. And this is the Williams Towers here, which is head office for the cell in Barbados. Williams Towers here, head office for the cell. And the air station B Harvey is in there. Yeah, the air station B Harvey was always in there before the cell moving there. So as I said before, Warren started to develop into a business and commercial area between the late 90s and the early 2000s. Some businesses started to move into the area before the late 90s, like in the late 80s and early 90s, but it was still a, it wasn't developed yet. Like St. Motors and the Star Gas Station and the Star Head Office. Those businesses moved into Warren before it was developed. This is all the Warren section of the ABC Highway. Back at the massive door mall again. And this is the eastern end of the Boabab Towers over here. This is closest to Jackson and believe the Battle St. Thomas. So I've reached the eastern end of the Warrens area now. And the door mall over here. And you can see the first Caribbean Bank head office over here. Over here. And this is the massive dorm mall. And you can see the unemployment building building again in the unemployment office. And place where you get an ID card you can check for your ID card taken. And this is the massive dorm mall where Warren's motors used to be. Then it later became Galaxy Motors, where the cost to manage eventually move into. And this is the first, this is also the first Caribbean bank uh, drive through automatic teller machine. And the massive door mall. First Caribbean bank has an office in here as well. Caribbean Bank. And the first Caribbean Bank head office over here at Warren's Great House, former Warren's Great House. And this is the Everton Beach from the boat. And this is the eastern side of the Warren's area over here. Everton Beach on the boat at Warren's, especially the Battle St. Thomas, and so on. Thank you guys for watching now, and have a blessed evening.